Hi guys, I'm Maddie. I am a university student with 19 pets. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I clean and what products I use to clean my ferret cage. I currently have the double layer pet planet cage and this cage can hold up to four ferrets. I currently have three ferrets in there. During the day they're also free roam in my whole living room but at night time I shut the door and keep them in there just for safety reasons. So if you have ferrets or if you have this cage, continue watching to find out how I clean mine. So to start off with, ferrets have very sensitive respiratory systems so you can't use heavily scented cleaning products because it can irritate their respiratory system, give them colds and things like that so it's really best to stay away from scented cleaning products. A good example of a cleaning product you can use is white vinegar. I used to use this for my ferrets but since they're in my living room I found the smell a bit strong of the vinegar. So I've recently swapped the cleaner I use in their cage to a veterinary grade unscented concentrated disinfectant. This one you just dilute yourself so it actually saves you money as well. What I do is I've reused my cleaning bottle that I used to use with white vinegar. I poured a little bit of my disinfectant in the bottom and just fill it to the top with water and this one you know, it lasts a while and it's safe to use on all sorts of pets. It kills a lot of bacteria and viruses that can be transmitted across species as well. So the most important thing is to make sure that your cleaner is safe for ferrets. Once I've got my cleaning gloves on, because you know, hygiene, I can get started with cleaning their cage. So this time around, I cleaned their cage by doing one layer of their cage at a time. So I just went ahead and in the top layer of their cage, I removed everything. I took out their beds, blankets, tunnels and fleeces. And then I got my trusty disinfectant spray and then I went ahead and sprayed the surfaces and the floor of this level just to give it a good disinfect and clean. I wanted to let the disinfectant sit there for a while before I wiped it off just to really kill any germs or bacteria that was present so I shut the doors and moved on to the bottom level and did the exact same thing. And now that the disinfectant has had its time to shine, I grab my cloth that I only use for ferret stuff, you know, to save on throwing away tissue or other things that I could be using, and I just go ahead and wipe down both levels. Now it's time for me to clean out their litter box. Yay! I'm currently using recycled paper pellets for them and I use these because I find that they absorb the smell really well while being safe for ferrets as they're dust free and also they're good for the planet, which we love. <laughs> so I went ahead and emptied the whole box of litter today just because it needed replacing and I didn't have any big bags that I normally use so I had to use these small biodegradable puppy bags which took a bit longer and was a bit more annoying but is what I had to do today. And now for my favorite part, not really, but I'm just gonna go ahead and clean out using my disinfectant, my litter box and their plastic tunnel and just, you know, the scoop that I use to scoop their poop. It's, it's gotta be cleaned, it, you know, give it a good clean, yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now, cleaning them. And 
now I'm just going to be putting their litter box and their tunnel back inside their cage, filling it with pellets again. Obviously, they need something to poo on and pee on, you know, as you do. And then I'm just going to put in a few more extra bits and bobs into their cage as well, just to make it a bit more interesting for them. laundry I just throw everything in the machine because I had a lot in their cage I'm gonna have to do two loads because all the rest of their stuff will not fit in the same machine so the cleaning products that I use in the washing machine are the same disinfectant I put one to two capfuls of this inside the machine I use this for washing their beds and stuff as well just because it's really good at killing germs and bacteria that your pets may produce. So yeah. For laundry liquid you can really use any sort of liquid as long as it's a non-bio one because these are more suitable for sensitive skin and I just prefer to use this for all of my pet stuff just to be on the safer side. I'm currently using this non-bio laundry liquid by eCover. I like to use this one on them because it's a natural cleaning product and I feel like it has less chemicals in it that could irritate them. I don't know, I just, I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that in. Another disinfectant that I also sometimes add to their wash is the Pet Sephora. This one is one that removes odours and, and it also kills a lot of bacteria, which we like that. We don't like bacteria. And it even says on the back, same as the other disinfectant that I use, both of them are effective at killing canine distemper and ferrets, so I like to just disinfect. I also like to wash my pet stuff on a higher temperature than I usually would wash my own clothes, just because, you know, heat can kill more bacteria, and like I said, we hate bacteria. So I put this wash on 50 degrees rather than 40 or 30 degrees that I would usually wash my own clothes. To be honest, these disinfectants are good at killing bacteria in lower temperatures as well, but just to be on that safe side and just to get their stuff extra clean, I like to put it on a little bit of a higher temperature. Alright guys, so now I'm just going to be doing a quick cage tour to show you guys how I've arranged their cage this time. Top layer, we have this little pineapple bed. I got this one from TK Maxx and it's so cute. I think it's so summery, like even though it's the middle of January, you know, like happiness. So I've actually finally got them a bowl that will stick to the sides of their bar that they can't rip off. So I love it. This is where I put their water in the top layer of their cage. They've got a bottle down there, but I'll get to that later. So I've got this. I think I showed you guys while I was, hi Ziggy. I think I showed you guys while I was tidying this cute mat I put in there. I got this from a charity store. You can't really see the whole thing because they're sleeping on it, but it's just a baby mat. It's cute. Yeah. Ziggy, you can't come out now, mister. You can't come out, mister. I can say Ziggy is grateful that I've put the bowl in there for him. He hates drinking from bottles, but Maskeen, my other ferret, she loves it. So I just give them a variety. Good night, mister. Mister? Ziggy? Hello. Oh, we're, th we're still thirsty. Yep. Thirsty hose in this household. Oh yeah, I lick those lips. Okay, good night, mister. So on this level up here, I've put a play tunnel for them just to give them something more fun to do. Um, they like to play with this ball here. So when they're in their cage or if they're out and want to go in their cage, they've got something to play with. I'll just put this cute pillow at the back there because, you know, it looks cute, why not? And on each level, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last cage tour, but I cover each level with some sort of blanket. When they climb up, there's more friction and they won't really fall down. I put these IKEA bath mats underneath just because they're like a really non-stick floor just to prevent that slipping even more. I've tucked the blanket under all the things that hold the shelf in place so that if they like pull the, shelf, pull the blanket or anything, it can't fall down. I've taken out all the ramps out of their cage just because they don't really need them, they can climb up without them and I just think it looks better and it gives them practice of, you know, climbing up things, so, goodbye. 
I actually have not washed this blanket that's on top of the cage in months, which is kind of disgusting, and I probably should definitely wash it. Definitely. But another day. Moving on to the bottom level now. Open this guy up. The bottom there, litter box, all clean. No one's peed. Oh, nope, someone's. Nope, that's a shadow. Actually, I don't know. I think maybe someone's peed in there so far. Up here, I've done the same thing with the blanket. This one's a bit smaller, so I couldn't tuck it under every one of these things that holds it in place, but it's in enough that it won't fall down when they climb up. I've put a little hammock that they can sleep in. It wasn't big enough, so I had to attach it with twine, but I've cut it so that they can't get their feet caught in anything. In here is just another tunnel for them to play in and a thing for them to play with as well. Actually, my ferrets like to use this to sleep in, so I've put it in there as well for them. And also, while this is in here, they can't push the litter box out of the way, which is something they do and it's really annoying. So, yeah, I've just filled up their food there and they've got a another water bottle here. If you guys are interested in what kibble I feed my ferrets, I will be making a video on it soon. I am trying to feed them the most healthiest I can from kibble at the moment so I might make a video on that. Hello. Oh, well, I guess he didn't like that. I've just put another bed up here and then again taken out the ramp and instead I put this hammock so it can sort of help them climb up as they do so. Yeah, that's it. You're staying there for now. I've got a steam up. Bye. So that's it guys, hope you liked the video. If you want to see more of my three ferrets, do subscribe to my channel. We also talk about my rats on here and soon my rabbit and also my hamsters. So go ahead and give this video a like and I will see you next time.